Good morning. Today we're thinking about the breastplate of righteousness. Now that's a strange word, isn't it? Can you think of anyone who is good, does what is right, and obeys God? I'm going to tell you the story of a man called Noah, who lived a very long time ago. The Bible tells us that at that time, most of the people on earth were being mean and unkind, doing all sorts of bad things. God didn't like that. He was sad, disappointed and angry all at the same time. He wanted all the bad things to stop and so he decided to get rid of all the wickedness. God loved all the people but he didn't like the way they were behaving. He remembered Noah who was a righteous man. That means he was a good guy who loved God and listened to him. And God told Noah that unless the people changed their bad ways, he was going to send a huge flood. And God told Noah to build an ark, which was like an enormous boat. Everyone laughed at Noah when he started building, because there wasn't much water in the desert where they lived. And Noah tried to persuade them to change their ways, but they wouldn't listen and carried on behaving badly. God told Noah exactly how to build the ark, what sort of wood to choose, what size to make it, and he told him to put a door in the side and to have three floors. It was enormous. Noah listened to God and obeyed him. And because of Noah's righteousness, God made a promise that he was going to save Noah and his family. God also told Noah to collect two of every kind of animal and take them onto the ark. Can you imagine the noise they'd make? How much food they'd need? How smelly it would be? When Noah had done everything God asked him, God closed the door to the ark with everyone safe inside. And I'll just show you what it might have looked like. Oh, this is very, very heavy. You see Mr. and Mrs. Noah on either side and all the animals. Oh, such a big, heavy boat. And then... When they were all safe inside, it started to rain. The floods kept coming for 40 days and nights. It wasn't just a little shower, it was massive. And the ark floated on the water. Even the high mountains were covered. Eventually the rain stopped, but the water was still everywhere. God sent a wind to help dry the land, but they all had to stay on the ark for a long time. Then Noah sent out a raven to look for dry land, but there wasn't any. A week later, Noah sent out a dove, and it came back because there wasn't anywhere to land. So Noah waited another week and sent the dove out again, and this time it came back with an olive leaf a sign that the land was drying up and plants and trees were growing. Noah waited another week and sent the dove out again, and this time it did not return, so Noah knew it had found somewhere dry to live. Finally, Noah and his family were able to get out of the ark onto dry land. They were all so thankful that God had kept them safe, so Noah built an altar a special place of prayer to say thank you and God promised Noah that he would never bring a flood to destroy the earth and creatures like that again. Then God gave a special sign of his promise and he put a beautiful rainbow in the sky. So the next time you see a rainbow remember God's promise that we will always love and protect us.